when you go into a situation as if you don't know anything, you are apt to learn a whole lot. And there's nothing wrong with relearning things. Hey, what's going on? Over the next couple of weeks, I will be releasing the nine rules of self-improvement. One of those rules, the very first rule of that, is to approach any situation as if you don't know anything. How often have we sat in the room, listened to people talk and say, I already know this. So why do we even listen to what they're going to say? Because we already supposedly know everything and we don't really capture the, the little nuggets here and there of things that we don't know because we assume we know everything. But here's one thing about self-improvement. If you take rule number one, approach anything as if you don't know nothing then your eyes, ears, and your mind is open to everything that's coming in. Because just because you have heard it before, how long was it ago? Or did you, when you heard it, did you activate it or use that information? That is very crucial. Did you use the information that you got that you are now rehearing and or relearning? That's a good question, isn't it? So now, when you're hearing these new th or old things, it's going to be wrapped in a new vessel, usually a new person telling you or a new book telling you or a new class telling you or just a, in a random conversation with somebody, somebody saying something to you, but it's in a different way. So when it's told to you in a different way, you're going to receive it differently. So therefore, it may trigger something in your brain or an idea that will help you improve yourself or help you bust through a plateau that you may have or have that big breakthrough that you may have. So that is very crucial. That's the reason why it's rule number one on my list is because when you go into a situation as if you don't know anything, you are apt to learn a whole lot. And there's nothing wrong with relearning things. Let me tell you a quick story. I'm a big Les Brown fan. Big motiv He's a motivational speaker. I love listening to his stuff. So one day I'm in the car. I got his um, tape rolling. And, well, I'm streaming it. It's not a tape, but it's from a tape. You get it. Okay. So I got it rolling. And it's like maybe the third or fourth time that I've heard it. My wife's in the car. She's just like, why do you keep listening to this? And I said, because I'm, I like hearing it. See, I said, do you question yourself? Are you hearing Beyonce for the 50th time, the, you know, the song for the 50th time? No. So why should you question if you're listening to a leadership uh, or motivational speaker for three or four times? You're listening to it because therefore you can maybe capture something different. Because every time you listen to a tape or somebody talking or relearning something, you yourself are in a different space. You have changed. You are constantly changing throughout your life. So when you hear something, a different person or different version of yourself is going to be hearing it. And then therefore you may do something and may be apt to do something because you cannot connect the dots with something else that happened. You say, oh, now I got it. When you are able to connect what you are learning to an experience that you have, therefore you are gaining real knowledge and wisdom. When you're able to connect something that you are learning to an experience, it creates knowledge and therefore it bridges right over to wisdom when you're able to make it factual. Thank y'all. Check out these nine rules that's coming up. That's rule number one. Go into any situation as if you don't know anything. Thank y'all. Peace.